Hey, so how did you feel when you received your first paycheck? I was pretty excited, I'll be honest. I worked for weeks and weeks and there in the sealed envelope was my very first hard earned compensation and I had so many plans about what I was gonna do with the money. But those hopes were brutally dashed the moment I read the bottom line. By the time the money actually got to me, it had been sliced up like a pizza. An alphabet soup of government agencies each got their cut before I did. But what are taxes anyway? How do they work and how do we end up with this present system? First things first, the basic idea of taxation is pretty simple. There's some sort of state or similar authority that imposes a levy on an individual or a legal entity like a corporation or something. If you can't pay, then you can be charged with a crime. This is a very old concept. It dates back as far as Mesopotamia and Egypt's old kingdom. Nowadays, the tax man's not gonna beat the crap out of you for being late, but the system is way, way more complicated. In the United States, the taxes you pay vary from person to person, uh, from company to company, from check to check, and then from state to state. However, most people do have to pay the federal income tax. And the US tax system is huge. Complex doesn't even begin to describe it. A better word would be Byzantine, which I looked up earlier. In 1913, Congress passed the 16th Amendment and the 16th Amendment says this specifically, the Congress shall have power to lay and collect taxes on incomes from whatever source derived without apportionment among the several states and without regard to any census or enumeration. Okay, let's be honest. While most folks in the US only think about taxes when April approaches, the process really begins when you start a new job. You and your employer agree on your compensation or before tax income. Next thing you do is fill out a form called a W-4 and it determines how much income tax your employer will withhold from each check. Why do they do this? Good question. Employers are required by law to withhold income tax and deposit the money in a Federal Reserve Bank. And this is how the federal government maintains a steady stream of income while also drawing interest on your tax dollars. Pretty clever, huh? So instead of paying taxes once a year in April, you're actually paying them all year long, every time you get a paycheck. Now the rules change when you're a freelancer or an independent contractor or you're otherwise self-employed. Nobody's going to withhold income taxes each time you get paid by a client or a customer, so it's up to you to manage what you owe. What's a good way to think of income taxes? Let's, uh, let's think of filing income taxes in April, kind of like settling up with the IRS. All you're doing is figuring out if you paid the right amount of cash. If you pay too much, boom, you get a refund. If you pay too little, boom, you're writing another check. Income tax forms like the 1040 are notoriously confusing, but that's because they're based on a code that's more than 5,000 pages long because somebody thought that would be a good idea. Presidential candidates are always talking about revising the system, but how, right? Well, there are all sorts of potential alternatives, like, for example, this thing called the flat tax. Under a flat tax system, everybody pays the same rate. So proponents of a flat tax system say that it would do away with all the complicated codes and forms. Critics say this system favors the wealthy, and that's not the most controversial idea. There's another one. Uh, it's even more controversial than the flat tax, the idea that we should just repeal the 16th Amendment altogether, abolish income tax, don't worry about it. In place of income tax then, they would have a national sales tax. So many countries around the world already levy a national sales tax. You've heard of it before, it's called a value added tax or VAT. The difference is that most of these countries also collect income tax. US backers of this plan want to get rid of the IRS and charge a flat 10 to 25% on all retail purchases of new goods and services. So people who are fans of this say that a consumption tax collects revenue from everybody, even illegal residents, tax dodgers, tourists from other countries, etc. Opponents say that it puts an unfair burden on the middle and lower classes who buy a lot of the stuff that would be taxed. They also say it might reduce consumer spending, slowing the economy down. And then they add that in order for it to be fair, it would have to be applied to the purchase of stocks and bonds in addition to consumer goods. Yeah, so it's no secret uh, that taxes are a bitter subject in many countries, and the United States has had a, at best, a rocky relationship with this issue. 
The US doesn't just have one of the most complicated tax systems in the world, it also grows more complicated each year. This is a politically charged, divisive issue, but there is one thing that everyone can agree on. The current system is not perfect. So here's a question. What would you change if you were in charge? Let us know in the comments. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.